guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori. We're a little crooked today. I have a Dollar Tree haul for you today and I thought I would share. It's not a whole lot of stuff, but I did get some fun things and some different things. Um, I'm just gonna dig into my little container over here of goodies and start pulling stuff out. Um, I grabbed a four pack of these pots. And I'm going to use them to do some start cuttings of my Christmas cactus that a few people want. So these are great just to um, start plants and, you know, they're nice and little. So I grabbed a four pack of those. Um, I grabbed these skewers. I'm going to be doing some polymer clay baking in my oven. And I needed something metal that I could rest the things on. So we're gonna create some type of a rig to hold the pins that I wanna bake. And also to go with that, I just grabbed a, um, just a cheap pan because you don't wanna use polymer clay on the same pans that you're eating off of. And what I'm making, and I don't know if you've seen them, I don't have any handy, but it's a straight pin topper um, that has a piece of clay like a shape I'll show you when I'm done so I grabbed I needed some some stuff for that also for that I grabbed um, just two foam blocks because I can put the pins in here upright while I'm creating them and before they get baked because I don't want them flat on the back I want them to bake I won't put this in the oven but obviously it's foam it'll melt I don't really have a lot going on. I'm holding off on showing you this because I have something to go with it. Um, I, my stores just haven't been full yet. I know. Okay, but I did get some other things. Let's see. Oh, I grabbed some hair clippies. Um, since my hair is getting longer, sometimes I like, especially when I'm working, to just pull the bangs out of the front of my hair or out of the front of my face. So these are always nice. For, I have a pretty thin hair up top. These are just the, and if you're my age, you remember making these with the string or the colored string and you'd have the hanging downs, but these just have the clippies on the back. So I grabbed a bunch of these and actually I grabbed, I made this. It's a little scrap fabric. It's the same way I make my flat bottom bags, but I made a bowl instead. So I just didn't put a zipper on it. And what I'm gonna use it for in my bathroom is for all of my hair clippies, right? And this way I know where they all are. And hopefully they make it back to this little container and it'll just sit on my, in my closet, my bathroom closet to hold up my hair. Um, I picked up, so I'm doing for the girls, I think I told you. Let me see if I have everything down there. I think I have everything for them. Okay, so my Sarah, my niece, is going to Florida next week, I think, or two weeks, and with two of her friends. So I made them some little goodie bags, they're all the same. This one will be Sarah's. And in here already, I have from the Dollar Tree, a face mask, um, some chapstick with SPF 15. I got them each a Sport 30 sunblock. And then at my dermatologist, they had this um, CeraVe sample. So I grabbed three, a face sunblock because I'm all about the sunblock, right? And then I have to put in them. So I picked up the last little bit of stuff today. And these are like, I still see these at my Dollar Tree. They're made out of like neoprene or wetsuit material. So they're perfect for the beach and they can just throw them in their bags. I grabbed Sarah this travel razor for her to pack just to have. She liked it the last time. Um, I'm going to open up these two boxes and split them amongst the three girls. But this is vitamin C hydration for them. They'll be, you know, in Florida on the beach doing gosh knows what. 
13 or 30 year olds do, but I grabbed them these, which is the vitamin C orange peach mango. So there are 12. So they'll each get four, four packets of that. And then I grabbed them some gum. I got the Kool-Aid brand and it comes with grape, cherry and tropical punch. I figure this will be as good as that zebra gum that we were kids that lasts like three chews. I thought, I think. And then I got them each some bubble gum flavor just to have again in their little beach bags. And then the last thing I got were these wipes and these are the travel hand wipes. Uh, antibacterial. COVID is still a thing and these are just wet wipes for hands face. They can use it on the airplane um, when they're out anywhere. So I'll give them each five of these little wipes and that should be sufficient. They also have, you know, hand sanitizer. But I thought for the planes, these would be a better option than the wipes that pull out of like a package. So we went with these for this trip for them. And I think that's everything for the girls. Um, I found these. This was in, it's the Essentials brand and it's in with all the brooms and stuff. And it looks like this on the shelf. If you're wondering if you haven't seen it, it looks like that brand new. I grabbed one for my coworker cause she was looking for them. But this goes on a broom handle and then it can reach your root ceilings. Like I have super high ceilings in here and in my bedroom and I get cobwebs and my mop and stuff. I mean, my broom might reach it, but this gets in your corners a little better. So I grabbed one of these and it's pretty rough. It's a bristle. This is definitely a little stiffer than some of the brooms. And then I also grabbed before and I showed you the, to do my ceiling fan. So they both will share the same pole and it just screws on. And then this will just hang on the hook. And when I need it, I'll screw it onto the broom handle and then I can reach hard to get places. Also, I'm thinking in my back of my condo, I need to get up on a ladder and suck out or blow out my um, dryer vent. And this might help with that. So I grabbed two, one for me and one for a friend. Okay. Lori might be a little extra. I mean, you guys know that, right? I saw these little fish hanging dealies and this shape, little fish. And I'm obsessed with these. And so what I'm gonna do down by where I feed the cats, I got to hoop my thumbnail. Down where I feed the cats, I'm gonna hang these on the wall. So I got some removable command hooks. Oh, these aren't removable, are they? Maybe I'll just put them up. These aren't removable. I don't think. I'll use these to hang my cleaning supplies on, but these I'll just probably use a push pin or some tape really, or just a little something, but I just love the fish. These were in the nautical beach lake section. And then I found in the cleaning section, the matching, these are just little rubber back rugs. And I need these too, because one of their water bowls spills a little bit. And I got them in the, to the colors that'll match. So these will be on the floor. And I'm gonna hang these over their, their food bowls and just decorate the little cat area. I just find that that is hysterical. So I got this to kind of redo the cat's area downstairs. All right. And I thought these were the removable ones, but they're not. And I don't want to be pulling stuff off my wall, but I can use them in my garage. So they'll get used. Um, I got some Aline's tacky glue. I'm sure it's a better deal if I buy a larger bottle, but I honestly don't use a whole ton of this. Um, what I do use this specifically for is um, my cross stitching when I'm mounting things on a uh, mat board or putting things together because this dries clear and it's acid free. So I use the Aline's for that. So I just grabbed an extra one. I have one that's about half full. So, but it's 
this is good stuff. It works well. And then for my cross stitch, I grabbed these two colors of tie dye, which in my mind is writ dye. I mean, it's like the writ, you know, that you would buy. And I want to try and dye some um, cross stitch fabric, like some fun colors. So I grabbed the green and the blue because I also feel like I can mix the green and blue and I have gray so I can make it more of a darker, a darker green. I really would like a mossy kind of green. So I'm gonna try to like mix some of this green and for $1.25 is better that, for the dye than buying um, the Rit dye, which is like five and $6 for a huge container that I don't need. Um, and this is for fabric and for cotton. So it should work on my cross stitch fabric. We're gonna see, but I'm kind of excited to try it. And I can also darken up and do like a navy blue by adding some darker gray to this as well. So I thought these were two colors. Oh, I'm sorry, Luna. Luna's here visiting me. I don't feel like I needed um, yellow or orange or anything like that, but green and blue I think will be handy for me. Oh, for my girl, I also got her these Duncan Hine individuals. So they had the big boxes of cake, but I'll, I don't eat cake, so I didn't buy those. But I'll send these home with Sarah, and they're cake in a cup. And it comes with vanilla-flavored pink cake mix with sprinkles. So the sprinkles are on top, and it says, remove the lid and film from cup. Do not microwave with lid. Tap cup to level cake mix, add cold water to fill line, stir well, microwave, cool, sprinkle on the topping. So I don't think there's frosting in here. I think it's just cake and sprinkles. And then look at the mermaid sprinkles. Like how cute are these? So I grabbed her one of each and then they had an astronaut one, but I didn't think she would like the flavor of the cake. So you just add three tablespoons of water, stir it up, bake it in the microwave, and then you add sprinkles to the top. I'm assuming if you want, you can add. Um, I was just listening to see if, I don't hear anything like frosting, but how fun is that? So I grabbed those for Sarah. You know, I'm always buying for my girl. I found some more, oh, I forgot about this. It's a little lotus leaf home decor cup. I got it in black because I think it'll go better with my decor and put it with my plants, but you can put like a tea light in here. There's no, there's nothing in it like a hole for incense or anything. You could use this literally for anything, jewelry. You can use it for like a little tea light candle or a votive candle, anything. I'm just gonna put it there. They had it in black white silver and gold so if you had a wedding coming up these would be super cute to put you know on your tables even just i think just for decoration but i have some some black in my plant stuff so i grabbed that and then they had some more socks and this brand is endure and i don't know if this is if this is part of gold toe i don't think so this is rochelle brand these are for little boy. My friend Adrian's little boy can wear these this summer. They're Lycra and they're also wet wicking. So if his feet get sweaty, they're very padded and comfortable and you get four pair. So two, two pair with the little red line and two pair with this um, gray line. So they're all black, just little boy socks. But for $1.25 for four pair, I think this is a great deal. I don't know how much, I'm trying to pull the tag down to see if I can tell how much they were manufacturer. I don't think we have a price on here. There is no price. So I don't know how much they were regularly, but yeah. So I grabbed those from my friend Adrian and her little, five-year-old he'll be able to wear those hi Looney. oh you want to say hi all right come on in there here is luna little sarah's little dog yes okay you can sit on my lap you're fine and then i found 
Gold Toe four pack. What? And these are the Casual Traveler. It's a four pack. They are standard of quality, lightweight comfort, perfect fit, uh, made from recycled bottles. And they're not thick. Would you stop? They're not thick at all, so I feel like you could. Well, that hurt. And now here comes Alex. It's okay, buddy. You get down. Yeah, you get down. Okay, you say hi to. And we have Alex. He is so big. Here you go. Get down. There you go. Okay. Wellington's sleeping in the corner. Anyway, so I will either wear these or I will give them to folks that will, but they're made out of recycled materials, which is fantastic. You get all these colors and they're super soft. So for, again, $1.25 for four pair of men's socks. And these are their standard, will fit size six to 12. Um, I don't know how much these were, uh, like $15, I think. So I grabbed those. And then the last thing I found, hold on to your hat, people. My store got the pegboards. What? Now, they were pretty much out of the black, I mean the white. They had a couple small ones, but I wanted this size um, pegboard. So I grabbed two, because I think that's sufficient for what I'm gonna do, which I don't really know yet. But, so you get two, I got two boards. And then these are what mounts them to your wall. And it says, please do not use on rough surface, wet surface, uh, powder walls, painted walls, surfaces, or wallpaper. Make sure the surface is solid. Please uh, press the pad. So these are adhesive. They're adhesive. So you snap this into the back of the board. You take them and then you peel off the backing and stick it to the wall and it should hold. I don't know if I'm gonna stick it to my walls or maybe put it out in my garage to hold tools. I'm not sure, but I got two packs of these because you need, for one of these, you need a pack of this to mount it. And I am almost certain that you could, oh yeah, so there are actual places in the corner that you could put screws if you didn't want to adhesive you know, stick it to your wall, or if you wanted to hold more weight, you can um, put a screws through these top holes here. So that's, that works as well. And then I got this little, um, I'll show you how this works. We have a few seconds, right? Cause this is all I have. This is the last of the, mostly the last of the stuff. So, this would go on your board, your wall, pretty sturdy. And then the pieces, you just figure out where you want this to go. And the holes in it are spaced properly. To go in, you kind of go in and then down and it will hold itself. And now I have a shelf that I can move put anywhere that I want on this container. And then I've made myself, you know, a shelf. And this one has sides so it can hold smaller pieces. And then they have this flat shelf that does the same thing, but it's just flat. And then they have these little tiny ones that will hold the like hooks. You know, so you hook these in and then you can hang things from them on the front, which I think is pretty cool. And for, here, maybe we'll make this our thumbnail. For, you know, $1.25 a piece, I think they're gonna work. So I'll figure out where I'm gonna hang them, what I'm gonna do, and then I should bring you along with me. I kind of would like to get a, like a piece of wood that I could hang up, stand up somewhere and not attach them to my walls. I'm just not a huge fan of screwing a bunch of things into my walls. We'll see. And then the last thing I got was some isopropyl alcohol. They came, finally came back with the higher count. 
So I got the 70%, this is for crafting purposes. Um, for clay, you can use it to take fingerprints and dust and stuff off. Um, so I grabbed some 70% because you want the higher the alcohol, you know, obviously the better it's gonna be. That is everything I got this week at the Dollar Tree. I hope you enjoy and I hope you're enjoying my other content where I'm thrifting and going to other stores and then my every couple weeks when I put my cross stitching video up, I hope you're enjoying that as well. Also, um, yes, I went back to the dermatologist and they froze a couple more spots that were just hanging on. And if you follow me on Instagram, I'm over there and I do post a lot more on my Instagram account. All right, everybody. Well, I hope you have a fantastic day and I will talk with you later.